Hello and good afternoon sa inyong lahat and welcome sa ating Cotable Quotes. For this afternoon, I am going to share with you a quote from Marisa Mayer. So, I don't know kung kilala nyo siya, but she used to be the CEO of Yahoo. But uh, she's now an, an entrepreneur, and investor, and meron din siyang mga tech startups. And I really liked what she, what she said here. Uh, I always did something I was a little not ready to do. I think that's how you grow. So para sa akin, napaka-meaningful nitong sinabi ni Miss Mayer kasi para sa akin, isa siya sa mga signs ng mayroong growth mindset. So meron tayong mga quotes na na-share dati about going out of our comfort zone and syempre maganda yung meron tayong lakas ng loob na gumawa ng mga bagay na alam natin na Medyo hindi natin kayang gawin pero we are willing to learn and we're willing to uh, improve ourselves to be able to accomplish those things. Kasi that's how you experience growth. Sabi nga ni Marisa Mayer, I think that's how you grow and that's exactly uh, the key to being able to improve yourself as a person. So katulad nitong ating uh, live stream, of course sa mga nanonood sa atin, Ever since, I think I started late 2019, mga around October, November. And you can see na ano, no, mara, malaki na rin yung na-improve ng ating live stream. Umayos na rin yung ating uh, connection, yung ating presentation. And sometimes, of course, meron pa rin tayong mga shortcomings. But I, in general, we are improving. Of course, the key to progress is focusing on being better than who you were yesterday so baby steps but in general there will always be a time that we will have to go out of our comfort zone uh, have the courage to do something that we are not entirely sure if we can do it but as Marisa Mayer said I, I always did something I was a little not ready to do I think that's how you grow and from my life na realize ko na Sobrang hirap hintayin yung right moment and sometimes hindi din talaga dumadating yung kung saan masasabi mong handang-handa ka na. There will always be self-doubt na kaya ko ba to or ready na ba ako. And it doesn't really matter because sometimes yung mga hindi mo alam or yung mga doubtful ka na hindi mo kayang gawin, eventually when you take the first step, And when you start moving forward, doon mo siya matututunan, doon mo madidiscover. And of course, yung mga nagda-doubt ka kung kaya mo bang gawin, hindi mo ma- madidiscover kung kaya mo ba talaga unless itry mo siya. So, hindi ako confident sa sarili ko dati na kaya ko mag-live stream. Actually, kaya rin late yung pag-create ko ng YouTube channel because I didn't really saw myself or I didn't really see myself as someone na, na nagbibideo. Kasi I am really a writer. Mas na-express ko ng maayos sa sarili ko pag nagsusulat ako. But I think I have to I had to adapt because a lot of people are consuming videos. So sabi ko, sige, mag-start tayo ng YouTube channel at hindi lang talaga YouTube videos or video blogging ang ginawa ko. But nag-live stream talaga ako, di ba? Kung saan napaka-candid at napaka-spontaneous nitong ginagawa natin. But it is really, and it, was, it has been a big learning experience for me. And I'm really glad that you're here and ano yun, sinasamahan nyo ako dito sa pagla-live stream ko. And uh, based from What you've been telling me, I you're grateful because may mga natutunan tayo. So this is something that uh, I am also applying sa sarili ko na pag may mga bagay na parang sa tingin ko ay makakatulong sa akin as a person, uh, I always try to master the courage to try it. So I always did something I was a little not ready to do. I think that's how you grow. ang sinabi ni Marisa Mayer who is actually uh, one of the most interesting persons that I've, uh, I've read about online. So, I hope you like yung sinare natin na quotable quotes for today and uh, I hope that 
you can also apply this sa inyong buhay. Right? So that's our quotable quotes for today. Nako maraming maraming salamat sa mga patuloy na nanonood na, na nandito pa rin. And uh, gusto ko tong comment ni Leo no, sabi niya, Sir Fitz, how do you encourage someone to get out of their comfort zone? Para sa akin, uh, the best way is to be a role model para sa kanila. Minsan natatakot sila kasi feeling nila hindi hindi nila makukuha yung approval or ma- hindi sila makakakuha ng support from other people and sometimes the best way to encourage them is to show them that ikaw mismo you go ta- you go out of your comfort zone and then you show them na it isn't that bad if you fail and it's always a learning experience no kahit na magfail ka dun sa sinusubukan mo there are still lessons na makukuha so it was not a total waste of time ang isa sa mga mga pwede ko maibigay na example i have a friend who always wanted to start his own podcast pero hindi siya confident sa sarili niya so ang ginawa ko uh, gagawa ko ng sarili kong podcast tingnan mo kung kung um ne gagawa ko ng sarili kong podcast pag-aaralan ko tapos kung meron kang gustong itanong at meron kang mga doubts sa sarili mo then you can just ask me and masasagot ko siya kasi I am trying to learn also from experience and after a couple of months so sinabi ko sa kanya oh start ka na rin ng podcast mo and true enough nag-start na nag-start din siya na sarili niyang podcast because I was uh, fortunately able to inspire him because I myself went out of my comfort zone to show him na it isn't that bad so siguro yun yung masas- yun yung masasuggest ko sa iyo Leon um Not necessarily the same thing, but alam mo yon. Constantly showing that friend of yours na hindi end of the world kapag uh, magfail ka dun sa pinupursu mo outside yung comfort zone, then they will have more motivation and more courage to also do that. No, so yun yun na nakumaramis salamat sa comment mo Leon. Ayan. 